So let's talk about quarter squats. These guys get a little bit of a bad rep in the, uh, the field of squatting and working out and extra fitness. Um, the, the thought is that you're not pushing yourself very hard if you're doing quarter squats. Quarter squats are just this top fourth of the movement. If I can go one full squat all the way down, maybe a half squat about halfway down, and then a quarter squat not quite halfway down. Uh, what is good about this? Why would I use it? It's good because I don't have to put myself in this disadvantage and I can teach my nervous system to excel. That is one big part of it. The, the second big part of it is um, with that nervous system comes more force development, comes more power development. So if I'm using this for a sport or I'm using this to get stronger, it can be a good supplementary activity toward my sport or toward my competition. Um, and then outside of that, I, I, can, I can just turn everything up, right? Um, if, I, if I'm coming down a little bit, I don't have to bend over so much. I don't put so much stress on my hip. I don't put so much stress on my knee, which if you're, you know, quote unquote normal, you might not understand that some people can't do that. They can't always go that low and they can't always bend their knee that much. Um, so this is a good way around that. Uh, how would I use it? So with a quarter squat, you're going to use a little bit more weight. So I'm usually not going to use it later on in a workout. I'm going to use it for the, the application of let's make more force. And I want to do that because my nervous system produces the force. I want to do that early before I fatigue. So I might put it first thing in the workout and I might even pair it with a full squat so that I can teach my body how to support extra loads, extra heavy loads. And then I can say, okay, take that potentiation. We've seen your nervous system's potential. And now let's take this into a full squat, teach you how to be a little bit stronger, kind of trick your body into being a little bit stronger in the moment. This might, well, it definitely won't fully transfer straight over to your squat because once you eliminate the stimulus of having extra weight, let's say I normally do 350 pounds in my squat, I might do a 400 pound quarter squat for whatever number of reps would be normal for me and then I could go to a 360 pound full squat. That may not last, but it does show your body that it is possible. And that's the idea here. That's, that's the idea with training, right? We're, we're showing your body, hey, you can push yourself a little bit harder. You don't have to protect me so much. I'm going to be okay.